I bought this book yesterday, Women Artists. But the thing that struck me about it, seeing them collectively, all these contemporary female artists, um, is how many of them are involved in their bodies all the time. It's, it's a great preoccupation with the female artists. I mean, there's just so many women doing the pictures of themselves. It's extraordinary. And then, of course, old Sarah Lucas and her chicken. <laughs> Quite witty. But, um, you know, naked, 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 all the time. See? Naked, naked, naked. Extraordinary. All this sort of stuff, page after page of it. And it makes me wonder um, what we women are thinking about. And if it's not sexuality, the vulnerability of sexuality, it's all about mutilation of the body. Um, you know, have this woman making a video of himself having an operation, blood, and uh, all that. Oh, and this is the one I can't bear. Gina Payne, razors, self-harm. You know how women do self-harm. But really, oh, do we have to, I don't know. I suppose I'm too much of a romantic. I can't see half these. I'll have to give in and put my specs on. So that's what a lot of these women are doing. And uh, it's very interesting, really. Self-mutilation, self-exposure. See, more of it. Another artist. They don't really empower themselves. Women have so much stuff to work out yet about their sexuality, about the negativeness of their sexuality. Cindy Sherman, well, I mean, I love her. I think she's great with her photos. And, oh, this poor Hannah Wilkie. She was such a lovely looking woman. Here she is depicting herself nude once more. And then she got stricken by cancer. Look, poor thing. But you see, she made this her art piece. Videos of herself dying. Even, look, naked. Again, you know, even when she's in the last throes of being on steroids and everything. And she's called this piece intravenous. You know, she's taking her um, chemotherapy intravenously. Look, there. So I find this book quite disturbing, actually, because there's so much self-mutilation. Look, here's another one. Look at their faces. It's almost like we're being, women have been, have been nothing but tortured. And this is how they're expressing it, the torture. Ah, another one with a knife, see between the fingers there. Horror stories, isn't it? This woman, stabbing in the eye. And, oh Lord, a needle in the eye, I mean, and here she is sitting amongst a whole load of flesh, animal flesh. It's all very brutal, body material, she calls it. I don't know, men don't do so much of this stuff, do they? It's like we're suppressed psychotics or something. I wish I knew some of these women, it would be nice to meet them. You know, it's all about sickness and self-mutilation and weirdly depressing subject matter. Frida Kahlo, of course, but then hers are different. Hers are to do with her handicap through her accident. So I suppose it's quite revelatory, really, about how women feel about themselves, their sexuality, and... Um, how the world has treated them. And this is the first conversation with the brand new camera. The first art blog, if you like. 
and to tell you the truth one year later, I am none the wiser about the place of women in art.